bastard. Did you read the last page? What? No. <laughs> You're going to, right? Why should I? Maybe Michael dies at the end or something. I don't know. Well, I know. See, Matt's the rebound guy. Suzanne found him, and they're together right now, living happily ever after. And that's all I need to know. What did you have? Half of yours. <laughs> <clears throat> He walked out with his art and his antiques in my whole life. I had nothing left. No lover, no child, no plans. I needed a change, Nikki. Not just a small change, a sea change. Until I began college, I'd spent every summer on Martha's Vineyard. And I remembered it was the last best place in the world. savings, I bought the practice of a retiring GP who was headed back to Boston. We were switching lives. I told him I felt that I'd gotten the better deal. that was mine, everything snapped into place. I knew that I had made the right decision. By some extraordinary twist of luck, I had found my perfect place. You the dog? Uh, yeah. Something wrong? No, I'm from across the road. Oh. Yeah, I said to Carl, my husband, Carl, I said somebody went and did it. Couldn't be a local. No, no, I'm, I'm from Boston. Then he said it's a doc from the city. And I said, well, that's a blessing, because when we lost old Doc McLaren, I thought we were just out of luck down here, and me with two little ones. You know, I have a family crisis. And Carl says, does he know what she's getting herself into? And I said, well, I don't expect old Doc give her the grand tour. He could barely walk, you know, he had this thing with his hip. You got a minute? Uh, take a whiff. Think it's low tide, don't you? Septic tank. Oh, well, that's not good. Don't worry. There's six more layers under that. What? <sighs> but hey, I'm the glass half empty girl, you know? <sighs> it's a beautiful place. Well, it could be. Anyway, we're happy to have you here. Welcome to the vineyard. I'm Melanie Boone. Oh, Suzanne. Bedford, yeah. <sighs> and don't worry about a thing. I know this great handyman painter type better than Picasso. I'll get him out here, no problem.
Picasso. You were talking to Melanie. Yeah. You started already? Yeah. You owe me 140 bucks so far. I'm just kidding. I'm Jack in making some notes. I'll be right down. Did Melanie uh, show you around? Yes, she, she gave me the grand tour. Did she tell you about the roof? No. Uh, the shingles? No. The, um... Don't worry. No, that's, that's what Melanie said. <laughs> I have a dumb by the millennium. But the millennium was two years ago. The next millennium. Do you know your way around the island? I could uh, show you around sometime. Oh, um, no, I. Uh... Or I could just fix your house and shut up. No, it's 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 not that I. It. It's just a bad time. <laughs> no problem. Heart attack last week? I'm sure I felt like one. Well, did you see a doctor? See one now. Oh, okay. Do you have any other complaints, Mr. Uh... Earl will do. Earl. Well, since you're asking, I got the gout, pretty sure. Swelled up foot. How'd you get your shoe on? Oh, it wasn't easy. Uh, all right, is there anything else? I got a list. Thank you. 